Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. We're drawing a Celtic cross slash Celtic mandala with four quadrants. And it was found on the Rodney Stone. And in this segment, I want you to take your point three marker again and your eraser. So, freehand on the pencil marks for the border that you've drawn. Draw the circle. As you draw this outer portion. Draw with the radius of how your hand draws every eighth of a step. You may decide to do different techniques to make this circular border. You decide what you'd like to do. It's your drawing. Great. Okay. Get your eraser. I don't want you to do the outside because it might be a little bit wet still. So get rid of all the pencil marks on the inside. circular motions to get rid of some of it. And don't brush it with your hand yet because you might smudge the outside. The more expensive a pigment liner you get generally, see I'm being careful not to do it on the outside, the longer it takes to dry. More pencil marks. Alright, the outside should be dry by now. Alright, now we're going to start cross-hatching in some of the negative space to make the positive space pop out. So I'm just cutting around here and here. I cut into the negative space from the positive space because it helps me from, well it keeps me from drawing in and crossing over the lines. If you have to do little cross hatches first, that might be a better idea for you. There we go, one more. And start crossing the hatch this end in. Once you start filling in the negative space with designs like this, it really starts to make your eye wonder how a pattern is breathing because it starts to float the positive and negative, start to go up and down and up and down.
Awesome. I'm gonna fill the rest of that in in the last segment. <laughs> 